If you have leaves that look like this on your cannabis plant, odds are you probably have septoria. In this Debaku University video, we'll provide you with proper identification as well as control techniques for this particular disease. All right, let's look at how to identify and control septoria on cannabis plants. So first off, proper identification is important. And septoria leaf spot can cause leaf loss and reduction in photosynthesis and is one of the most common leaf spot pathogens among hemp leaf spot diseases. And we can see a great image of that here. Scout lower leaves and within the inner canopy uh, where leaf wetness and high humidity occur as this is likely a place for the disease to start. Look for small, irregular shaped spots with bright yellow margins. Spots expand to about a quarter inch in diameter and appear brown with predominant yellow halo. So we can see here that predominant yellow halo clearly evident. As spots in large brown areas become more regular and develop gray to white centers, yellow halos expand outwards from those spots. The entire leaf rapidly becomes yellow and can drop from plants in advanced cases. So the life cycle of septoria and looking at from two different aspects here, showing you kind of what's happening in those little spots, showing you kind of all those little fungal spores that are developing. The pathogen can overwinter as mycelium uh, and then can reinfect plants the following year. So it's good to clean those portions up. We're seeing uh, an example here of again, wind and rain splash, spores kind of knocking those off. Uh, those can then go through and develop a as early lesions as yellow spots on newly emerged plants. The cycle can repeat itself if conditions are favorable. When those leaves do drop off the plant, they serve as overwintering um, areas. Now this is showing soybeans, but the same thing does apply to cannabis. Where that overwintering spore can occur, proper conditions cause it to kind of proliferate and affect new plants. So how do you go about managing this? And this kind of shows a really good kind of zoomed in version here. While this is not cannabis, this is showing you the uh, great image of what septoria can look like. This is an e example of it in cannabis. When excessive moisture or high humidity is available, the fungal life cycles are shorter and larger number of spores are produced, both negative things if you're looking at trying to mitigate this disease. So this can increase the chance of disease later in plants life cycle when the plants are more dense. During rainy summers, disease can spread rapidly through fields if you're growing this in an outdoor application. Septoria species can overwinter in fields on affected plant debris. Under cool conditions with low relative humidity, the um, pinidia uh, can remain viable for up to nine months in debris. Uh, the, in contrast, Pinidia survives decreased dramatically in hot weather and when in buried soils, for example, tilling for less than one month. So if you do have infected material over a large scale and you till that in, that can be a way to reduce the life expectancy of septoria. Although, although alternative hosts have not been identified for septoria species that cause leaf spot in hemp, it is likely that weeds and other similar green bridges are responsible for survival from one growing season to the next. And we're still looking at investigating this more, but odds are these green bridges, it spreads to another uh, weed host, another disease host, resides there, and then the following year it can then jump from that original host that it carried over and infect your hemp plants. So hopefully this gives you a little insight into septoria, which is sadly very commonly seen on cannabis.